Good morning, good morning, my people. Good morning to all. Mm -hmm. Good morning to everyone that listed to me right now. Today's topic is all about the reputation of Nigerian Palace. First of all, before I will touch down to that area, I will first of all state something. I will make a quote on my own. Do you know what? No matter whatever that Nigeria does today, it must surely break. It may not happen today, not tomorrow. But Nigeria will break because people are no longer foolish. People are getting a lot of information every day patterning that country called Nigeria. So let me face the fact we are going to today is all about the reputation of Nigerian Palace. There was a news that came out some days ago and they were verifying the quality of the place all over the world. Among the whole place, Nigeria is the worst on planet. And uh, they tried to fight against that. They went to Chinese television to challenge, start mentioning, calling some names, mentioning countries that Nigerian police are far better. It is a lie. It is only somebody who is out of the field watching football can see where players are making mistakes. You, the player, cannot come out and tell the people I am the best player of the day. We, the watchers outside, can tell you who is the player of the day. All over the world, I can only quote Nigeria that I know. I cannot quote, I can quote German, I can quote Nigeria, yes, two of them. But men seeing how German police operate, and seeing how the, the laws and the constitution of the country is being managed and be forced into people. And you look or you visit Africa, go to Nigeria, see how police force are operating. Hmm, if you ask me to weigh two of them, German versus Nigerian police, I will tell you that uh, the German police are well trained, well advanced upon. There are those that are biased. They are all human beings, but in uniform. But, good morning, Moby. But, Nigerian police. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Look, I have to face the fact. I am not going to look face or whatever, but I will tell you the simple truth. Nigerian police, if you ask me to categorize the police of Nigeria, it's as if you just enter a village, a deep forest village, and pick some young guys and young ladies that have never lived that village before. You give them weapon, weapon, uniform, and push them on the street to go and force laws into the citizens of the nation. Maybe it's not their problem or their mistake. I mean the Nigerian police. Because Nigeria has grown... Um, has an attitude that they will try to fool the masses. Uh, they will be fooling the masses until they fool themselves to the extent to the point of no more return. 
If you only see the police academy of Nigeria, that takes it all. Nigerian police academy is the worst on planet Earth. Is the worst. Nigerian police is 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 the only police on 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 this planet that will be standing, watching citizens taking laws into their hand by killing a law-abiding citizen in the name of winch. Police will be there watching and the citizens will pick stone, pick whatever they have and kill a hungry, tired, sick citizen of the nation. They will not intervene. The people won't even register that there is any police in their midst. That means the people are the one policing the communities and states and whatever. It's only in Nigeria that people will wake up, kill as many people as they want, and go away with it. What can you tell me? Nigeria, Nigeria has, has corrupt to the marrow bone. Nigeria, Nigeria need to, need to, oh, do you know the word that Jesus says? Jesus says, I will push this wall down and rebuild it. Nigeria need to push down and rebuild if it will be a nation. Tribalism, hatred, low mentality, illiteracy, they, they, are, they, are, they are not even existing on this planet. Coming out to challenge the world that made research and put themselves, even the, the, the Nigerians are now mentioning some countries that they are more than Congo. They are more than, uh, let me check, which country again? Did they, Uganda. Did you see where they are categorizing, where they are putting themselves? They are more than Congo. Congo that have been into war since century. Uganda that that has most of African countries doesn't even register that there is a country called Uganda again inside Africa. That 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 is the countries that Nigerians are Nigerian police are mentioning that they are better than them. A, a, a country where police will stop you, check your documents, everything is in, it's okay. Everything is normal. And they will sit inside your car and seize your key and ask you for money. On that issue, I will not even blame the police. I will blame the government. Because like in German, they have what they call federal police. And they have state police. Even they have local government police. Yes, in Germany. If federal police want to operate in our state, they will visit to the they will visit the state police and collect authority. And police uh, the, the state uh, police will now send another police with them. They will move to the local government police, take authority, and carry out their, their affairs. It's normal. But Nigeria, hmm? roadblock everywhere. Corruption, killing. One of my village guys woke up in the morning, want to open his store. Some young guys just kill him before, before police, before military, before everybody. And nothing happened. Nobody was arrested. They only say uh, that these court guys, now they say, you know, these guys, you know, you know, do what? Because the government want to destroy one part of the country. Because the government want to destroy the eastern region. They forgot that anything you try to plant in eastern region works like kerosene. It doesn't go to one side. It expands. And it will affect and contaminate the entire country. But every experiment must surely start from Eastern region. Before you know it, it will consume the whole country. 
in a, in a country where state governor doesn't have authority over the place that was policing his state. In a country where local government chairman doesn't even have authority over his territory. Nor should I say even the police of the federation doesn't even know their right, the law, doesn't even know when they are trespassing. You will see two policemen, they will drink and drunk in Biapalo and they will start fighting each other because of two naira, three naira. Two mobile police will beat hell out of themselves and people will be watching, videoing them. And you try to tell me that you want something. You want nothing, my friend. You want nothing. Even though, if at all Nigeria is a country that has brighter thinking, brighter dream to alleviate their country. There is no job. We know that for quite well. Because we don't produce. We only import. I feel that one. But Nigeria, if they want to reshovel their forces, this youth service corps that you guys are pushing them to, to the largest area in Nigeria to go and serve their motherland, why don't they, why don't you push those, those guys into place <coughs> that their youth service got to be under place? Or their youth service got to be under military? So that you will, indirectly, you will reshove the system. In the sense that educated people will now start taking over. Because if you send 1,000 to military, and send 1,000 to police, maybe at the end of the day, 300 will pull out looking for something else. And the, the other ones will remain. And they will be educated. And they will, will now see that reformation will now start popping in. DPOs, Inspector General of Police, all those things will now change. Learned people, young people will take over and do things right. And they will be able to be traveling abroad. When you send their police to German, send the other ones to Russia, send the other ones to Ukraine, send the other ones to any other part of the world, go and team with your colleagues, see how they operate, see how they do the things, see how they manage their cities. If you come back, you teach their colleagues, and you guys learn. Nigerian police have not even traveled to Cameroon before, nor Kuno, um, um, Togo, or Benin Republic, or even Ghana. You know, they can do that. But you will come out to try to <clears throat> tell the world that you are more advanced than, than um, Uganda than Congo. <laughs> you are not even advanced more than South Africa, nor the Egyptian police. The same fault that we have in Nigerian police is the same problem we have in Nigerian military. In the sense that militaries are rolling about on the street. If they find you putting on this type of clothes, maybe there is this hand nice camouflage, this one is a navy camouflage, and this one is... They will beat you up. They will beat you up because of clothes, because of material. Because of clothes, that what nothing. Where is my cap? I could have shown you my, my military cap. If you watch my old videos, you see it. I will move around with it. I will dress like a full combat military man. And I will be walking around the street and nobody cares. Nobody registered. Nobody, it's nobody's business. From toe to barret to every damn shit. I make I even carry AK-47. I even carry everything, but it will be what they call a ping pong gone they won't even care because they are the manufacturers they if they see it they know whether it's fake or it's authentic but in nigeria if you put on only cap that has maybe line here like a military that day you have signed your death warrant because lack of knowledge no education, nothing. Only go there, beat them up. Show say, hey, now we get land, now we the rule, now we be this, now we be that. Nothing. Don't you know that at times you are, you are 
directors will give you order and you will tell them no it's against the law of the land it's against the nigerian constitution go and destroy that stupid boy they call him the carlo go and destroy his house Oga, nigerian court gave him bail and it is his right to enjoy that bell. No. Eh, hey, oh boy, carry but you go show them. This appear with themselves. You forget they are their citizens. Didn't people protest in Egypt to push out the Mubarak? The great Mubarak of Egypt was pushed down by their people. Mubarak sent military on the street to go and deal with those people on the street. And what happened? The military go out, they took their armor tanker, they go out on the street, and the people now clamp on their, on their armor tank and they were driving them around. And the, 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 the generals were calling, what is going on? They say, oh God, this people doesn't carry gun. They only protesting empty-handed, demanding for their fundamental human rights. But in Nigeria, you will still show that you're a nigger. Which so you must surely show the word, I am a nigger. Because niggers, when your master do, you will jump from mountain. Okay, let me add you. You know? Failed. So, that's the difference. When somebody says that you are the worst force in your country. Don't rush because I do watch, I do watch the interviews of Nigeria. Do you know the day that the military went and attacked Nam the Kano's compound? Under three hours, Nigerian military lied on television. Under three hours, they lied seven good times. The same man, the same people, the same spokesperson of the military. Under three good hours, they lie to the entire nation seven good times. How can you trust such a people? How can you, how can you go to bed and sleep and snore that some people are taking care of the borders? The name is, as you are sleeping, you must also be ready to defend the border of the nation. If, if, I use the word if, if at all the beer France raised the fund that I was demanding and we took the generals and the Nigerian government to court, do you know what the general will tell you? The general will tell you that the message we received that there were armed people on the street. And we send out our military to go and check it out. No more. If you come there, there, there is nothing like arm. You will do what? You will mellow down. You will see your general before your eyes. He will not like to go to prison. He will deny you. And you will start regretting. And those boys you are molesting, throwing them into potter potter water, Let's face the fact. These guys are respecting you because you are armed. Because of your weapon, because of the coat of arm you are putting on. If you remove that cloth, want to battle that guys bone to bone, out of 20 of you, maybe it's only three that will be able to withstand those boys and fight. And if I say that you give them arm, if you hear a sound of gun, you, the military wear trained man, will pick up race. Because these guys will fight you like nothing, like, like no tomorrow. And you know it very well. You are calling yourself learned man. Trained, well trained. There is one of our brothers. He called me, he, he, he informed me how he was trained, where they went trained and everything. But 
you may train as as you want what happened obasanjo said it all he said if, if at all that britain and others did not come to their rescue that they have, could have lost the Afghan war upon that the only people fighting you is only a state out of the entire eastern region that we are ready out giving out whatever they have to fight you and ojuku didn't even prepare for war Men looking at the gun that the Biafrans were using, you will notice that they were not prepared. prepared. But they fight you. Because the little training they receive is in their bone. But Nigeria, Nigerian forces, hungry, poverty, illiteracy, lack of training, lack of enlightenment, is the thing destroying these guys. Um, somebody write to me that I should stop advising Nigeria the best way to do their things. My brother, they say that where you are mourning a dead person, you are mourning yourself also. So, we are advising for change to come in because if you see Akoda, no kuibo, a hoka na akoda. Ebon avanche, we chop on him, and mogi at our bread tomorrow. So that's why it's good for us to advise because today we are still in Nigeria. We, we have not gotten our country. Trying to deprive yourself everything that will make your life easier is not the best solution. You have to remain focused and still all along the line you walk in a sense that things will be comfortable, will be comfortable for you. Like most of you that are preparing, jogging, following politicians around. Ask yourself, five months ago before campaign, did they know you? How did they come about to know you? Who brought you into their life? And how long are they going to retain you? It's the same game. They keep you low as they keep the police. Police were there. They, they were even on our way. And the military went and destroyed the whole property of Kano's family. They were denying they wasn't there. Those dead bodies flying around, around the compound fall from heaven. On trained soldier. On trained police. Why the graduates are lying on the street driving Kekena Pepe? <laughs> graduates will go use service finish and uh, use the money they make to buy Kekena Pepe. Why the illiterate ones will go and do all your ma on your mats, get said, PM. If you are, all the people work at it up to 20, they don't get to work with that. No certificate, nothing. And you ask that person to ask a policeman what is your duty. Maybe there is a policeman watching me here now. What is your duty? What is your mandate as a police officer? Maybe those that are experienced. <laughs> may answer these questions. But those ones that are still wangling about doesn't even know, have, doesn't even have respect, value for the life of their citizens. You doesn't give them five naira in the morning, they will forget bullet in your body. Because they doesn't value life. One policeman, almost 20 women, children here and there, the ones who are school, the ones who are in school. If you go to my barracks, my market, you will see children without, with bastards flying up and down without, without father. Because they are not trained. Military are not trained. Half of them are carrying HIV. Nigerian military. Do you know how many of them that carry sickness from Liberia came entered Nigeria? 
the ace that is killing people in Nigeria today was imported by Nigerian military. Lack of knowledge. Raping women without condom in front of war. And transporting sickness back to the country. And the government doesn't even care about them. They spread every sickness to our people. So let's go back to, let me touch a little to the election thing. I received a message today, one powerful brother. He said somebody even sent something to him to promote election in Anambra State. And he tried to talk to him, advise him, the need they should not participate. And the evil guy says, I'm only doing my business. Igbo man with business. Hmm. But are you going to vote on that day? Are you going to participate to vote Obiano or any other person on that day? Have you asked yourself, why am I going to vote? Why should I participate? If you ask Uibo, come on, he will tell you what is coming out, what, we, what am I going to gain out of it? My gain, not our gain, my gain. Let me ask you, as person, as the person that is trying to participate, what is your gain if election goes well on that day? What's your gain? Is Obia not going to elevate the poverty in your family? Is he, are you going to visit his office? Maybe he may help you on one thing or the other. What is your gain? Is my question. If there is no gain, even though the one you have voted before, why voting again? Why committing that eight hours? Why dashing out that time? Why can't you use that day if you have nothing to do? Celebrate yourself. Tell them enough of manipulation enough of lying enough of misleading the only time you have to you have the right to slap back to them is now and if you fail to do it you will find yourself to be blamed tomorrow You are governors. Where are their children? The allocation money that is coming to your state, where do they put it? Peter B tried a little because he has you in his heart. He did a little. But this one that is ruling you now, this one that is using five naira to buy one bottle of granite today. Is he going to buy that granite tomorrow again? The same question will still go to the river state people. The so-called river state people that claim that they are Biafrans, especially my message is going to Avengers. The Avengers, I can remember when Enam de Kano was earlier arrested in Nigeria. Avengers issued out a, a, a statement that the person that would negotiate on their behalf is in Namdekan. That message was a very powerful blow to the Nigerian government. Along the line, the vice president started visiting River State. And I still made a video and tell my people, those Ghana must go you are seeing is not only the Osubanjo's clothes. That is your wealth. Today, they are giving you contract to take care of the pipe, of the resources, the black blood of your land are being sucked, transported through pipe to where? And your job, you will come out, you will tell me, how can you, the son of the soil of River State, will be a gate man of our man? In your own village. In your, in your kindred. 
you will be get man. And they will sit in office, drinking tea, taking a condition. And today again, Avengers, where are you living? If I may ask you, how much did Nigeria pay you? Avengers, this message goes to you. Where are you now? You are inside forest. Po mosquito is biting you. The only good thing you can do for yourself is to cook ogogoro and drink ogogoro. How much are they going to give you? They may give you 500 million naira. And the people giving you 500 million naira, where are they? Are they sitting with you inside that forest? No. They are taking a condition, riding, living their lives, living in abroad. How much do they make in a day from your kindred? They make $500 million per day after settlement and paying tax. And they will give you 500 million naira. You will share it among your groups. And you will not have good life. Look at your bodies. They look like crocodile body. Due to what? Contaminated waters. And you are making big boy. Hey, now we the rule. Hey, now we they do this. Now we they do that. Are you not ashamed of yourself? You are now making yourself get man again. In your kindred. And you will come out. To claim. That you are a Biafran. Biafran no they take last my brother. Biafran people. They don't take last. But you are messing. You are really messing yourself up. Instead of you. To use your brothers. To match yourself. So that you will iron out. A solid agreement if Nigeria like they can rent those that will guide their pipeline but things that belongs to you will still come to you as the youth of the kindred you will collect money from Nigeria you will distance yourself from the main thing that you, you should use to press Nigeria down I keep on watching Nam the kind of visiting River State. I have never seen any of you guys around him. But you claim you belong to whatever he's doing. Are you now the chicken that tells the tortoise? Please, as you are going to that meeting, whatever you people agreed upon, my hand is inside. And on that meeting, they agree that they are going to use chicken to do sacrifice. That is what you are doing yourself. You are now the gate man of your father's property. While a visitor that knows nothing, that doesn't even know the backyard of your mother, is now the king of the land. That whenever he's coming, everybody will throw a red carpet on the ground and all the kindreds will come out to salute him. Who made it possible? You made it possible. You made it possible. Stop complaining that Hawasa is making you get man in your village. You are the one that makes yourself get man. That's a little word that I have for you. You may think that you're a millionaire, but if I'm lying, tell me, challenge me. If your leg touches on the mainland, police kiss you. Why do they kill you? I thought you are working with the federal government. I thought you were free. What are you still doing inside water if there is peace? Look at your people. Upon you were created to bring liberation for your people. You created Avengers to fight for the right of the community. Can you look back? Are you gaining on those rights that made you to form that group? Are you still living to the agreement and the promises you gave the community? You have caused their lives. The school remained the same. No development. 
no road, nothing. But they will give you 500 million and you keep quiet. You made yourself another gate man. If they keep on dividing you people, group by group, to settle you, your great-grandchildren will come back and do the same thing you are doing. You will hand them over this hardship. But when you come down and come out for a renegotiation with your brothers, and if you say that we are not brothers, good for you. Go ahead. But one thing I will promise you, you can never make it. You will always live from hand to mouth. You drive that second hand jeep, two days it will pack one corner. You will start to blow like a dog again. Whoa, 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 whoa. They will put another bone inside their mouth while your communities are rotting. He who sells a dog and buy a monkey still has ntuku ntuku in the backyard there. I doesn't hate you. Rather, I just want to give you small tips. Start working with your brothers. For the solution, end solution to your villagers and to our own. Because all of us, if we work together, we will bring out good things for our people. Distancing yourself because of this small, small change they are giving you. You are selling the, the ancestors of your communities. Inside forests, drinking a gogoro, making noise. Wee, 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 wee. Bro, 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 bro. Any rubbish woman that cross around, you jump on top. Think that you are the highest strong boy on the street. Go and look what your mates are doing outside. You don't even know how to operate the phone you are using in your own fingers. The phone you are carrying about, you can't even operate it. The world is going far, technologically. Eurobars are securing the whole technology in Nigeria. And you are inside forest shouting, thinking that you are doing somebody. Hmm. Sorry, my people. But if you really love yourself, if you really love to have light, if you really love to do things accordingly, unite. If it doesn't unite, Distancing yourself, you will die in that forest. Normal life, not the sweet you. Being a normal human being, not be like you. Rubbing normal cream. Taking good bath, not there your side. It's only hanging inside forest. That's for you, my brother. I am your brother. I love you. I like you. But I want you to do things right. If you can squeeze Nigeria to give you the one they are giving you today, if you unite yourselves, they will do more better. No election in Anambra State. God bless you all. All happy Afra. Bye bye for now. And uh, have a wonderful Sunday.